How's it going guys? Angus here from Makers Muse. I am in the Shining 3D headquarters. This is actually their maker space, which is freaking phenomenal. I'm surrounded by 3D printers and massive 3D printed objects. And what I have here is their 3D printer, the Iron Start S. So this is a 3D printer aimed at education and to be an entry-level, reliable 3D printer. And I've been playing around with it for the last afternoon, the last three hours, and it's actually a pretty decent little machine. So, a few specs on it. It is a PLA-only machine. The bed is not heated, has no heated uh, bed. Not enclosed, it's purely PLA, so it's aimed for those markets where you don't want to worry about ABS fumes or the complexities with printing an ABS. Now, that means you will not be able to print in the high-temperature materials, like uh, PET or anything that needs a heated bed, but it will mean you can use um, impact resistant modified PLAs if you do need a bit more strength. The machine itself is actually pretty neat. It actually has rails, which I do appreciate. They uh, couldn't tell me if they were actual genuine high wind rails or not, but they are linear rails, which means it's much more rigid and it's sheet metal. So yeah, I mean, this thing is pretty much built like a tank. They have their own slicing software which I've been playing around with. It does have G-code preview, which is a huge plus in my opinion, and support material seems to work quite well. So I've been printing some sort of basic STLs around, you know, sort of basic things. Raft pulled away nicely. I was really happy with how this pulled away. And it prints quietly. So that's a big plus as well. It's a bit hard to gauge the sound in this room because it's sort of a bit echoey, it's a bit of aircon but I'll just play a clip of it printing so you can see how it sounds when it's printing. And yet, yeah, there's no reverberation in there. The, the, the chassis isn't vibrating because it's thick sheet metal. And they have printed a ton of stuff for this. Like there's this guy, this, uh, they've got a, a lobster. They've just got so many huge 3D prints that are done on these machines back to back and they've got this cargo carrier downstairs that they 3D scanned and modeled and then expanded to size. It's humongous and it took them three days continuous printing on 200 machines and roughly 400 pieces because the print bed isn't so big on this. I'll take the bed out. Magnetic as well, quite handy. I think it's 160 by 160 by 160. Looks about 160 to me, doesn't it? And this is just an acrylic sheet. So again, you're not gonna be printing ABS on this machine. It is primarily for PLA. And I was shocked at how well it sticks the PLA down. Uh, especially because my experience of non-heated beds is they struggle with sticking down PLA. But yeah, that worked right. I don't know if they put a coating on it. Maybe a little bit of uh, hairspray, I don't know. But yeah, it works really well. So that's the Iron Star S. So if you didn't know Shiny 3D makes 3D printers, they do. So thank you so much for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this short video on the Einstar S3D printer here at Shiny 3D's headquarters. As some of you may not know, I am actually in China right now. I was flown here by Shiny 3D to be part of the International Conference, International Partners Conference, and it is an absolute honor to be here as part of this. Uh, it is so, so much fun, and they have been more than welcoming in showing me all of their things. So if you didn't know they do more than 3D scanners, they do, they do 3D printers, they do metal 3D printers. Oh yeah, I'm gonna check that out shortly. And yeah, we've been having quite a lot of fun just playing with cool new tech. So definitely hit that subscribe button guys, it helps me out a huge amount. And I will see you again very shortly here on Makers Muse. Bye. And just in case you've been wondering how they print so many massive things, well, let me just show you their printing room. <laughs> so behind me, guys, is a fleet of Einstar S 3D printers. I think it's like 200 of them or so. And here at Shiny 3D, they test the crap out of them. These things are going almost 24-7. And these guys are serious about a reliable machine that just keeps printing. So that's why they have all these giant prints everywhere. In sections, they print block by block by block all of these prints on multiple machines. 
and then glue them together afterwards. And I've done videos on that sort of technique before. It's a definitely, definitely a great way to approach huge 3D prints if you don't have a giant 3D printer. And as I said, you can print multiple things at once in different machines and it takes less time. And guys, the first thing you'll notice, I'm in a print room full of 3D printers going at it and I'm using a Rode microphone on the camera. You can hear me talk. They're so quiet. 